All right, so a race for the, the top two finishes there, break the old record uh, individually seven, break, by themselves. Kind of what was your sort of mindset heading into the race, knowing that, you know, they might pull away? Well, I knew that I didn't have, I couldn't really stack up to the Hosteller sisters. I mean, they're just on another level, but I knew what I needed to do and what my race needed to look like, so that was just what I set out to do. And then was it kind of just making sure you were third there, kind of holding off people as long as you could, and then it looked like you really had a nice extra gear on that final lap? Yeah, um, I started out slower. I ran my first lap in about 37, 38. I was going for a 42 because I'm not like a fast starter. I can't hold fast paces for as long as those other girls can, so my strategy was just sneak up on them and get them in clumps if I could. And then with the time, is that a PR for you or anything like that? Yeah, that's a 20-second PR for me. Oh, so then to do that and then obviously have – a uh, historic yeah, race in the way that they were running, kind of how excited is that, that where you're third, where obviously they were there. No, that's awesome. I mean, those sisters, they're fun to run against. They're great runners. And so just to be able to run here and participate is always such a good time. And with them running the way that they run, is it kind of, does it push you a little bit too, knowing you're like, all right, cool, let me see how close I can get there? Yeah, especially in like the distance races. I'm, I have a, usually a faster gear that I try to kick into in the last lap or so. So it's fun to see what I have left and just finish with everything I have. All right, cool. A couple more races for you to go so uh, congrats on getting this first uh, top eight finished out. Thank you. Right, thank you. Thank you.